Hey there and happy Monday. So this is kind of a surprise for me to be able to come to you with some inspiration and uh, card idea. Um, so my hu hubby being so wonderful and understanding of this business of mine and even though it's busy with harvest, um, he knew that there's free shipping today on orders of $75 or more and that it's a big deal in some of my biggest days. So he's like, why don't um, you just take a little bit of a break so that you can work on orders and things like that? And so things have been going pretty smooth. And so I just touched base with him and I said, do you think I can sneak in a video? He's like, I think so. So here I come. So this is um, a card that is from one of my stamp camp, um, stamp camp projects that I did. Actually, it'll be the last one that I did here in my home. Hi there, Amy. Hi there, Sue. So this card um, is one that I did here and then it was like one of the most um loved cards out of the six and so what i did is knowing that i was having six completely different projects at each of my four classes in september i um noticed that there was paper that was almost identical to this but just a different color theme so i repeated this card but just a different color scheme and i'll show you that too um so that you can see the difference between them so this one is card number six for my in-home and then i'll be showing you card number one then essentially for the medial class so you're kind of getting a double feature um, but that's why um, so I just wanted to touch base and let you know about that too hi there Tabitha so let me get my camera turned around here and you can see better kind of what I'm talking about so oops, I was kind of aimed to get my October code there in the picture so yeah the um the code's pretty cool right now because um monday tuesday wednesday free shipping on orders of 75 dollars or more and so this week my special if you use the october um code is the three pack tinsel gems on a 75 dollar order so that's been fun to throw those onto orders um or i'll be shipping them out to people too so just want to let you know about that so if you have any questions or need any help with ordering please let me know. All right, so here is my card again. Um, card again? It is sweat, sweater weather. <laughs> All right, so here we have this, and this is the version. I'm only going to make one card. I'm going to do the, the brown one, um, but you should be able to, to figure out how to make the darker one, and I'll throw this in at the end too so you can see that and kind of some more of the specifics of the colors because I know you guys like that as well. Um, and so basically what makes these cards so special, I think, is this paper. So let me show you um, where that's coming from. So believe it or not, it's from Christmas paper. So on the back, you see Joy of Christmas 12 by 12 um, designer series paper. And yes, yeah, so there is this kind of um, pebbled path and black wove together for kind of a uh, uh, rustic look and on the back side is the Christmas paper and then for the other card I've used um, more of the pecan pie with early espresso um, weaving through that and this was like so fun to have this on the back too so it's got some um, some kind of that um, flannel look of green and so let me just show you okay so those are the two yeah those are the two that I just showed you okay so this is the backside backside and the two uh, choices that I used and then we've got um, some fun greenery here in that Christmas paper and then we've got music notes so I love the music notes there for Christmas and then just some more greenery when I look at this one. I love the versatility of it looking like it could be for Christmas or kind of anything. Um, and then we've just got a random red pattern that almost, you know, if you look, it's like, is there poinsettias in there? But it's almost too random, but just a really nice um, pattern there. And then we've got um, the kind of red flannel look too to match like the green. So we've got both of those covered, the red and the green. And then we've got kind of a, um, a hardwood with music notes in there too. The music notes are just very uh, subtle, kind of shadowy there. So there's that. And then we've got kind of some holly berries um, for a random design here. And then just a very random or just light subtle design here with different shades of green. So that is the Christmas Joy designer series paper that I got um, the owls um, design from. So hopefully that helps you. 
Um, a lot of people said, I would have missed that. And so that's why I'm here to show you things like that, right? <laughs> okay, and that is on page 29. So when you see um, the Joy of Christmas Sweet Collection on page 28, 29, it is this paper on the bottom of 29 that I am using. Hi there, Leah. Good to see you on here. All right, so I'm going to back it up just a couple pages only, <clears throat> and Winter Owls. I'm so glad, Leah, that you are joining in because this is on Leah's wish list, and so we're just waiting for that autumn paper to come in, and then I can order it. I feel like um, Leah's not the only one. Well, no, I know Leah's not the only one on my list to get that autumn paper today. Hopefully it'll be in today, but um, the Winter Owls have been popular, and um, I love them from the get-go, and just seeing everybody go, oh, wow, um, oh, wow, um, so I'm going to see if I can turn my camera around. Speaking of wildlife, I was going to say how much I love wildlife and owls. I'm going to see if I can turn. No. Nope. Uh, shoot. I hope I do. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can do this out my window. Here we go. Okay. So total different segue here. But I don't know if you guys can see. I have wild turkeys in my grove. There we go. They showed up better than I thought. You never know. So that's my segue. All of a sudden, I glance up and something caught my eye. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them out there. Sorry about that, but how fun is that to be talking about the wildlife that I love here? Okay, now I've got to zoom out. <laughs> And um, so anyway, that's what's happening on my farm today. So you never know. Sometimes there's deer out in that grove or not. But yeah, I always keep my um, my window um, uh, free from like the blinds and such, um, that window, because there's so much fun stuff to see out there. All right. Sorry about that, guys. You came here for a card, right? <laughs> Okay, so that's on page 26, the owl bundle that is in stock. Okay, let me get started then. Like I said, I have two different versions here, and I'm just going to walk you through this one today. So um, this is the stamp that I never know what to call it. I kind of mark it as like brush, meaning like um, the brush out of a grove or something. Um, this I'm going to make a background from. So let me pull over some scratch paper here and um, open up my pecan pie ink pad. And let's see. Oops, my camera's being, there we go. I was just making sure I'm not missing any comments. Okay, pecan pie here. So what I do with this is I ink it up. Oops, let me get my camera angled a little bit better. I'll ink it up here. And then without re-inking, I'll stamp it twice. So then we've got the lighter and the darker. And I'll just keep doing that across the edge like so. And then I'll flip my card to the top and just go across the top doing that same thing and filling that in. And then it just leaves a little section there. Um, and uh, that's going to just get filled in that same way like that and it might look kind of funky at first like okay who sends a card that looks like that but once I add the next layers it's going to kind of cover it up and you're just going to see kind of some of that um, the edges on there and that's that was my goal okay um, so next we're going to pull that cool designer series paper and I've cut this in a three inch by four inch section and I can tape that <clears throat> directly to a piece of early espresso. Okay, we've got that like so. And then I'm going to flip this over and add some dimensionals to that. that. Hi there, Val. Thanks for popping in. All right, so we've got this. And I'm just going to do four in the corner because I don't want this to get too bulky because we're going to add... Um, some other layers and such to the card. I just like the little pop and lift that it gives. So how fun already having this designer series paper on there, popping it up. Now it just kind of gives that edging just a fun little texture feel to it um, without distracting from the card. And it just kind of takes away the weird feeling of there's images coming and going like before I put it on top of there. Um, 
So today's card's going to go a little bit faster because like I said, it's something that I've already um, made from one of my stamp camp classes here. So um, I've already cut out these, but um, the owl, uh, winter owls dies here, um, has this fun tree trunk. It's quite a sizable die and I'm going to use um, the large owl die cut from that. So once I run through some pecan pie, um, cardstock this is what we have from this and I saved these um, and like I said I did two different cards so we have insides that are pebbled path and so it looks like little ovals here they all are you know this shape and then I've been using the pecan pies um, insets for a different class I was doing so you'll see that later when I show you my Fairmont stamp camp cards too all right, so with this, I'm going to just go ahead and put um, a couple dimensionals here on this one, just to kind of pop that up here. And that's going to go alongside this like so. So we just kind of have that going on there like that. And now I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. Let me bring over my large, um, the largest owl, flying owl there from that stamp set. I'm going to switch out ink pads. Now I'm going to switch to early espresso because I wanted to bring in that darker ink that we outlined the pretty paper with. So I'm just going to tap that on there and put this on some berry vanilla cardstock so you can see that like so. And then the other stamping I'm going to do is um, the early espresso again. I love the warm wishes. I'm going to stamp out so you can see the font a little bit better. That I'm going to stamp out on just a little strip here of pecan pie. So you can see that. Oops, there a little bit better. I love that font and style. So with this, I'm cutting. Okay, sorry about that. I got a phone call um, that came through and I was hoping it didn't disrupt my video. All right, so I'm going to put um, the Stylish Shapes banner on there. And then I have this die that I'm going to put there. Um, here's my, my top piece. I'm gonna put that through. And with the Stylish Shapes dies, we've got the banner. And it gives us that nice edging there. And here we've got the owl all cut out too. So we've got that ready to go. And oops, set that aside without dropping the platform. Okay, so let me bring over my um, scratch paper here again and my pecan pie ink pad. So what I'm gonna do is just give this a counterclockwise swirl. And so this was kind of a, a learning technique for some at my class that I did. So counterclockwise, and before I put it on my owl, I kind of touch it to my paper and start the counterclockwise on there so that that first burst of ink isn't a, a weird splotch that's too heavy for my project. So always starting off your paper is good. So I'm just going around the edges so that it's darker on the edges, leaving more of a lighter spot there in the middle. So we've got that. And now I can get my card back here Whoops. and put this on my card. So I'm going to put some more dimensionals here on my bird, like this here and here. And now that's ready to kind of launch from my tree trunk. So I'm kind of having some of the wing out of there and it's, you know, quite sizable. So it's like, I want it, I want room for my grading, but um, kind of putting it towards the top too, so that it's flying up into the night sky or whatever. Um, and then I'm going to grab a couple dimensionals and just put that on the edge here of my sentiment. And then I'm going to add a little bit of my seal adhesive there. So now this will lay equal to that tree trunk by having it popped up here 
and just adhered there. So it gives us um, just a little bit of um, middle room there to add some embellishments. Hey there, Kirsten. And so um, with that, I brought out these. I love these. These are the adhesive back sparkle gems. And so it's perfect for like the black for Halloween. I just think the black looks really classy for Christmas. We've got some silver and um, like a coppery look here too with these. So I'm going to take one of the larger ones here and just put that down here. And then I'm going to grab a couple smaller ones. One's going to go right in my tree trunk and the other one's going to kind of set next to my larger one. So that just adds a little bit of shimmer shine to the card as an embellishment. And then to finish the card, um, they have this sweet little sentiment that says, may you have time to enjoy the quiet moments of this season. So that I'm going to just put in here, like so with the pecan pie ink. Um, and then I guess, you know, either way, either the early espresso or the pecan pie ink would work fine for that. I think I just got ink on my fingers, so I'm off camera wiping that off so that I don't get it on this when I go to adhere that to the inside of the card. Okay, so I've got this to put in here like so. All right, so that is like the finished card from, like I said, project number six from my in-home stamp camp. But let me also, like I said, bring over project number one for the Medelia stamp camp. And you can see they're about as identical as can be. But let me just go over um, what I use. So I use Pebbled, Pebbled Path ink to do like that little brush mark on the back side. And then I use Pebbled Path to both stamp out the owl and um, do the blending brush um, lightly for some ink addition. Um, this is still the other alternate um, designer series paper, Joy of Christmas, but the Pebbled Path version. This is Pebbled Path. This um, three and a quarter by four and a quarter matting underneath that pretty paper is basic black. So we've got Pebbled Path, um, basic black, and then um, I did put the owl in very vanilla as well. So, and the sentiment and the tree trunk are in Pebbled Path as well. Um, and then for the embellishments, I just swapped out the silver version to go on there versus kind of that coppery. So hopefully that gives you some inspiration on a couple different cards. So let me get this turned around. And yeah, so I think I'm getting summoned to go out to the field. So I'm glad I snuck this in. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's a call to say, hey, you can still stay at home. I'm not sure. So um, yeah, please call me if you need any help with the free shipping deal going on today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Um, I'm excited about free shipping day because it gives you 11% off base. Basically, I always laugh. It's like when my husband gets excited about shopping at Menards with their 11% rebate. So um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about that. But otherwise, I'll see you when I see ya. Have a great day. Bye-bye.